Hello, and welcome to this next session in augmented reality in Unity. So again, we're still sticking in our simulation. Uh, and what we want to do now is be able to click on objects so it will display appropriate information that we think can click on to close down. Okay, so we are following on from our last session where we had got multiple image tracking. So I'm picking from where I left off. So if you've not watched that one, please go back and just go and check it. So you can see I've already got Earth and Mars still sat with the offsets I created last time. And in this video, I'm going to be able to click on Earth, click on Mars, and it pop up with some information. So I've already got the XR Origin. I've already got my image tracker with the multiple image tracker and the prefabs. Okay, so just like before, I'm going to go into edit mode of the scene so I can create a new prefab. I'm just going to create a... I could create a plane, but just for the sake of making this easy, I'm going to go with the cube. So there's the cube. I'm going to make this a whole lot smaller. So 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 is that bit small again we can play with sizes and I'm just going to shrink this down so it looks more like a slab um, and I'm going to drag on my Mars information screen so there's my Mars information now that's actually upside down at this point so um, I'm going to rotate that round I mean this would be probably a lot better for something like blender um, let's just do this properly if we're in something like blender and really did model it correctly but again, just for the sake of demonstration. So there we go, I've got a Mars information panel. Um, I'm just gonna call this Mars Info. Um, so there's my texture. I'm gonna move this to zero, zero coordinates because again, when it appears, I want it to sort of appear at the center of where we're clicking. And again, we might at that point wanna change the offsets a little bit. So if I drag Mars Info down to the bottom bar, that's now created a Mars Info prefab. Okay, so I can now come out of edit mode by just clicking on the scenes. Oops, nope, I'm gonna go back, edit, and I can now delete it from our scene, but I've still got the prefab down there. Okay, so back into scenes. Um, I'm now already got some code that I've previously written, I'm just gonna talk through it a little bit. So if I drag this file called touch, te touch test, so if you've not got this, which obviously won't have just yet, if you've not downloaded it, you can write it yourself. You can click on create C sharp script, give it the name touch test, um, and then open it up in a edit it of your choice. So I'm just going to talk through the code that I've already previously written. So I'm calling this, I've got a public game object, Mars pop-up. So that's my Mars info box. Um, I could rename, it doesn't really matter at this point. And if I come down to my update function, I'm saying if input dot get mouse button down, basically check that if has the left mouse being clicked. And if you're on a mobile device, it's as the primary touch screen happen so whatever you use your first touch this will trigger that now just to make sure it's working so where I would normally just stop the function there debug.lock press primary button and that just tells me that my interaction is in fact working because if you've done something wrong something set up it won't it won't output that bit of data okay so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm creating a ray um, so this ray right, is going to emit from wherever you have clicked into the screen um, so let me just show you what, how that works. So the quick help of Google Images, I've just typed on to Raycast in 3D Maths, we can see that wherever the camera is, wherever your mouse click is, it emits a ray through the screen until it hits an object and then it hits that object um, and it will return the name, or at least it will do if we've told it to. So I'm creating a ray from that camera point where you've clicked. We're then going to create an object called Raycast Hit, called Hit. And then I'm saying if physics Raycast, so this is our ray that we're clicking on, out, so whatever this function uh, returns, it's going to output it into this object here. And I'm only going to check up to 100 units into the distance. You can play with this if you like. Um, and again, just for me to test if this is actually working, I'm doing debug.log hit, and I'll remove these lines later on. So if it's hit an object, it's going to say, yep, we've hit something. I'm also then going to say debug.log hit transform.name, and it's going to output the name, and it's going to output the tag. This just helped me learn what Unity was doing, how it was working. And now I can say, if the tag is Mars, so let's just nip back to our code, uh, into our Unity project, so let's click on here. I'm gonna go back to my Mars. Um, is Mars, yep, I've tagged Mars. Now if yours is not tagged, add the tag. Now remember when we add tags, we can type things in. So right now I've not got an Earth, so I'll add an Earth while I'm at it. So if I just click Earth, um, if I come back to my Mars prefab, and I go to add something, Earth is, you know, I would have to now physically add it at that point. Okay, uh, it'll make sense when I, when I create it for the Earth object. So back into the code. Um, I'm now saying if that tag is Mars, 
I'm going to get the position where the ray has hit the object and then I'm going to create an offset of quarter of a unit up and quarter of a unit into the distance and then I'm going to instantiate, so basically spawn my Mars pop-up object which obviously is up here uh, my Mars pop-up object in the position we've just created and I'm also just going to just stick with the current rotation um, of the object itself um, and then that should do for the moment yes we'll, we'll come back to that in just a moment so um, if I come into unity I'm going to click on my XR origin I'm going to drag that code onto it and um, do I want it on there yes that's fine we could put it on a different empty and um, so I've got the script touch test Mars pop-up none so I'm dragging my Mars info onto there so if I now press play this should this should be working now I'm going to come onto the console before I click anything to prove a point. So if I just click anywhere in space, we can see it is in fact clicking. So it's you know it's found something. If I click on the Earth, there we go. It's uh, not tagged, so it doesn't know what to do because I've not tagged the Earth object yet. So if I just but it's hit something, but it didn't know what it was. So if I click on Mars, there we go. It's popped up our Mars box. Now we can see it's obviously inverted. It's the wrong way around. So I am going to have to go back into the edit mode and change that prefab. So let's go and do that now. Uh, back into edit mode, get the environment, I'm going to drag our Mars info back on. In fact, do I need to do that? I don't think I do. I think I can do it from here. I can change that back to just a zero and I can press play. So one of the good things about Unity, the fact that we don't have to recompile code, we don't have to change too much, we can change a few settings. We can click on Mars. Oh, it's still upside down. So well, maybe we'll go and tweak it, but I'll do that outside of this video. Okay, so again, I want to go three steps one more time. I can go into edit mode. So I'm still in edit mode, aren't I? Uh, in edit mode, I can then create another box. So again, 3D object, a cube. Oops. Uh, I'm just going to shrink this down again. Minus two. Oops. Minus 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. I'm going to drag my um, Earth information on. Oops, that's not it. That's it. Mostly harmless. Shrink that down a little bit. And I can then call this Earth Info. I've already called that, yeah, Earth Info. And I can drag this down onto the box to create a prefab. I'm just going to delete this old one that I always use for testing. Okay, so now I can come, um, yep, I can come back. I do want to tag this though. So I do want to tag it as Earth. But I don't want Earth at this point. I need add tag. I need to do Earth Info. I can go back onto my Earth Info box and choose my tag Earth Info. So that's that, that's that now tagged. I'm just going to find my Earth as well. Earth was also not tagged, so I'm going to tag that as Earth. Okay, so I've now got the several several objects. So it's the same thing I've just gone through. You've already got enough to really make this work now. Um, if I go onto my Mars pop up, yep, that's fine. I'm happy with that. I'm going to click back in code. I'm going to come up here. I'm just going to duplicate this line of code. Oops, so some problem with buffering. But this time, of course, I'll call it Earth Pop Up. Oops, can't spell. Earth Pop Up, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to grab this bit of code because copying and pasting is your friend as long as you do it sensibly. I can just say if it's Earth. Um, and this time, of course, we'll just change that to Earth. So now it should pop up. Now, of course, I want to delete these things. So if I just say if that was, if I, what, what did I call them, what was my tags? I always forget what tags I've done. Um, so I've not actually tagged that just yet, I've not created it, so I need to do that as well. It's really easy to make these mistakes and forget to tag things, and then you wonder why it's not working. Okay, so again I'll come back to my Earth Info, sorry, Mars Info. Okay, so everything should now be tagged. Mars Info is tagged, Mars is tagged, Earth is tagged, Earth Info, is, that's not tagged, that's not the one I'm using. Where is it? Oh, it is. I've not tagged it. Again, always just double check. That's everything tagged now. Back into code. So if it's so if it's Mars info, I can then delete it. So when I click on it, it's going to disappear. Um, and again, I'm going to do the same for Earth info. I'm just going to press save to make sure I saved the code. Come back into Unity. It'll probably take a moment to compile. Okay, that's finished compiling. So I'm just going to come into my XR. Right, so I've got Mars pop up, but nothing on Earth. So I, just, I do need to make sure I drag the Earth info over. 
So now I'm going to press play. Again, just to show what's working, if I just click on console, you can see it's clicking, the mouse is clicking. Click on Mars, we've got our Mars information, click on it, it should disappear. Click on Earth, there's our Earth, disappear. And again, I'll now go back into the scene and I will re-edit it to make sure the prefabs are displaying the, the right way. But if I was doing this sensibly, I'd be over in Blender and mapping the UV textures so everything is just how it should be. Okay. Okay, so I've just spent a few minutes just tinkering to experiment with, making sure the textures are correct. And again, the right thing to do would have actually been going to Blender, done it properly or other 3D program. But now if I look around, if I click on the Earth, we can see it's now the right way around. If I click on it, it disappears. Mars is still upside down. So let me just take you through the steps that I went through to fix it. So I'm still in edit mode of the scene. Um, I'm just going to simply delete Mars info. Uh, yep, I'm going to delete that. Um, it can be to start again. Now I'm going to press create, uh, create empty. And this is going to be my uh, Mars info. Uh, it should have been a little M because of the way I've been program so far and um, from that I'm then going to create a cube so create the cube so the cube is a parent of the empty so the other way around the empty is the parent of the cube so on this I'm going to drag my Mars information uh, so it's gone straight to the cube obviously it's upside down right now I can shrink this down like I did before um, in fact I'll do it the other way 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 again you might just want to play with your sizes now I'll shrink that to be a bit more flat um, I'm going to rotate this 180, so it's the right way around. So the, em the, the empty is still the correct coordinates, but we've inverted the texture itself on the on the cube itself. Now at this point, um, the cube has got the box collider. We don't need that there because I want it to be clickable. So I'm clicking the Mars um, empty, add component, I want a box collider. Now this box collider is massive, so I'm just going to come into top view. I'm just going to click on edit collider, shrink this down. it almost fits. I'm not going to worry about it being absolutely perfect. Okay, that's just that's, that's the top side. I'm going to come to the side side. Again, still too tall. There might be a quick way of doing this, but it's worked for me. So now I've got my Mars Info complete with the cube underneath. So Mars Info, we've lost the tag. So I have to go Mars Info. I'm going to come out of edit mode. In fact, no, back into edit mode. I want to delete that from the scene and make the prefab. So I need to drag this down. We've got the Mars Info prefab again. I can delete it from the scene. I back out of edit mode, into XR Origin, drag my Mars Info box over it. If I've done this correctly, everything should be fine. Uh, I've gone through these steps so you can see the sort of things that can create little errors. So I've got my Earth, I've got my Mars the right way around now. Click on that and we're done. Now if you're if your clicky isn't working, you're getting errors, the thing you might need to do is go to Build Settings, Player Settings, I hope I remember where this is, come down here, I want to go under Other, and I'm looking down for where we can choose our input modes. Um, there we go, Active Input Handling, and I want to do both, um, otherwise you might get some errors. It will force you to restart if you have to change it, but it'll stop some errors from coming up. Okay, so that's the end of this video. In the next video, we are going to look at adding sound effects to our little prefabs that could play, maybe a sound sample, maybe a video file, maybe even an animated model. And then after that, we'll look at how we can export this to the Android platform. So I shall see you in the next video.